Hello folks and welcome. So today's video is on system rescue. And uh, it's uh, generally used for, well, after a data crash or you're trying to rescue uh, your system. So it's uh, not really a daily driver for Linux distributions, but uh, more importantly, I'm gonna give you a, an overview and a tour of system rescue. I do not work with the developer, so don't ask me questions about that. I'm just giving you a tour and overview. What's on here, in other words? So I'm Icelandic, so sometimes I describe things a little bit different than others. But in general, I am going to give you um, a system overview of this. I will tell you that I'm filming in a virtual machine today, but I'll give you a tour nonetheless. The video will be more than two minutes. All my videos have timelines and chapters. My current screen resolution is 1920 by 1080. So welcome, folks. Let's talk about this distribution a little bit on DistroWatch. So on DistroWatch, I don't use the popularity or the ranking area at all, you know, the system ranking. But I do like the layout of DistroWatch when it describes a system. So to, that's why I'm presenting this this way. So their last update was done on 528, so fairly recent. System Rescue is an arch-based distribution out of France. It's on the XFCE desktop. It's used for data rescue. They do offer a live medium, so you can go test drive it. So it's designed for repairing a system and data after crash. That's what the general idea here is. There's a lot of tools that you'll find also on your regular installation medium on your other Linux distributions for installation tools. And you'll find some other ones on this one. There's their website, system-rescue.org, nonprofit. I'll give it to you in a different way. There's their website. Okay, I'll resize the text on the fly. Maybe that's probably better. There's two areas you can download that. The images are fairly small, so burn this onto your USB stick, DVDs, or other medium. Okay, Alt F4 to close. Alt F4 closes pretty much all windows. All right, so I will start with the, uh, do I want to start with the panel bar? Or I'll just start with the, the desktop. So if you can't see the panel bar, or whatever medium you're using, you may want to right click on the desktop and click applications, settings, and then investigate your display. Whatever, maybe you need to change that to something so you can see all the goodies. Again, I'm running a virtual machine. You can see that 1920 by 1080. Close. File manager, Thunar. You'll find lots of shortcuts in here, folks. Lots of shortcuts. So Thunar is the file manager for the XFCE environment. And it comes up in root mode. Alt and F4. Not going to open up the home folder. So walking across the panel bar, I have the main menu with the X on it with the little mouse. Then I have the, um, well, the terminal, and I'll give you INXI information. I used to show this quite often um, on my last YouTube site. Not big enough for you? Let's enlarge that. I'll drag the box a little bit around, so maybe a couple more. There we go. So INXI, uh, the, the option of uh, dash big F XC just strips out personal information. I'm not going to give you the whole thing. I'm just going to give you the top line. So this is a 6.1 series Linux kernel. XFCE is the desktop. It's arch based, as you can see. It's a system rescue. That's the name of the distro 10.01. The rest of this information, I'm just going to hit uh, Alt F4 to close. Firefox web browser. So um, again, I'm filming in um, a virtual machine. That's why you saw that flash for a second because uh, right underneath there is my other system. Anyways, G Party, Feather Pad, and a manual. Okay, so I'll use the conventional close button, volume thing, calendar, and time date thing. Let's go to the menu. Run program, settings. Really not going to actually open any of this stuff. This is standard settings for any XFCE desktop where you can, you know, make your 
your different changes for your maybe display, your keyboard, your mouse, that kind of stuff. All right, under the accessories, we have Application Finder, Bulk Renamer, Featherpad as a text editor, another shortcut to Thunar, the file manager, Calculator, another name for that is Calculator, a Genie, so that would be a lightweight GUI or graphical user interface text editor for like GDK 2 and 3 toolkits. G hex simple binary editor. Key pass X C would be like your password manager cross platform. I believe it supports Linux, Windows, Mac, and BSD. Uh, on the same line, QT pass open source multi password manager. Uh, image viewer, really not going to talk too much about that. It's an image viewer. Screenshot tool is self explanatory. I'm going to jump over software tokens. And Task Manager is self-explanatory also. Terminal Emulator can be found in a lot of different places, just like Thunar over here. There's all kinds of places you can open up Terminal. Again, speaking of Thunar. Vim is a text editor. X-Archiver for, well, compressing and decompressing. XF Burn for, well, burning stuff on your, on your platters or disks. UB Key Personalization Tool. So that would be like for AES key security kind of stuff. So as I pointed out earlier, I'm Icelandic, so sometimes I describe things a little differently. Oh, guess what? Another shortcut to uh, Thunar, the file manager. Internet. Now you can look up just about all the stuff that I've been talking about on the internet, of course. So no exception to this one, the A-V-A-H-I, a mouthful. SSH server for like zero conf um, working with DNS or DNS SD for looking at published services and e, and e hosts or hosts. Okay. Uh, what is e links? Well, e links is a text based web browser. And the one below it, of course, is a GUI based web browser. We all know about Firefox, it's found in most Linux distros. And then you have safe mode. So LFTP, well, the FTP part probably is a giveaway, uh, file transfer protocol, but uh, it's a command line and it does support several file transfer protocols. Remina, remote desktop client for POSIX-based OSs. X11, VNC server, virtual network, comp server, local, and, uh, local to remote, X window session, X11 VNC software, that kind of thing. All right, where did I leave off? System is next in line. I'm gonna skip over a, you can look again, most of the AVAHI. Boy, having a hard time pronouncing that one today. Uh, Gparted, well, Gparted is also found in a lot of your Linux distribution installation media. Uh, Gparted is best used when you are not booted into a system if you're wanting to well, repartition a hard drive or create partitions. Gparted has been around for a long time and it's a very favored tool in the Linux community for partitioning drives. There are other tools out there too, like GNOME Disks, for instance. Other tools out there. All right, the next one in line is GRSync. It's a graphical version of RSync. I have many videos on this. I also have many videos on RSync using scripts. Or doing like backups and stuff. Okay, what is G Smart Control? It's used for your hard drives or solid state drives. Smart data, self monitoring analysis reporting technology kind of thing. Hardware locality LS Topo, a mouthful. Well, it's a little map. All right, H Top, really not going to open up. You can open up terminal also and type in top. It's a process monitor. H top it just has more bells and whistles. So I also have LSHW. I know I could say that. Uh, so for a little bit of hardware information, or you can open up maybe system profile, or you may like that better for a graphical user interface or GUI. It's made by hard info. This also can be found on a lot of Linux distributions, re repos or repositories. Hard info. It's a wonderful tool for GUI-based looking at stuff. 
Alt and F4 to close. Again, I'm using a virtual machine today. So I left off with system profile and benchmark. Now the task manager is fairly self-explanatory. And Thunar, the file manager, go figure, another shortcut. Same thing with the XFCE terminal and of course again, another shortcut to XFCE terminal. And you have the about. You can punch in INXI in terminal. So terminal, Firefox, Gparted, Featherpad, manual, time and date, calendar, right click, launcher, uh, URL link. I also use that to actually create uh, simulated web-based icons. Create a folder, create uh, empty document or text files, terminal, new window, arrange desktop icons, desktop settings. Here's a couple of wallpapers that they have for you. And of course you can uh, click in resizing the icons if you want them and, and enabling and de-enabling these. Standard stuff really, but I just want to let you see the wallpaper. I'm going to hit close. And then of course you have the standard menu for running your software in this format. Other than that, I will say thank you for watching. Take care, folks.